Hello everybody, this is my week two review. Um, I'm gonna boot up my synth here. As you can see, I made a little uh, boot up uh, thing with all the LEDs. Um, basically, this is just um, an expansion upon my uh, design last week. Um, so, we have a few new things here. Um, no sound yet. It's all just with LEDs. Um, basically, we have these are just like what's going to be planned for the mode LEDs to switch between different synth modes um, right now. Um, and then we also have a button here, which I'll press in a sec that'll engage uh, the random mode. Um, right now we're in play, uh, this sort of play mode where we can just like play anything we want and or affect any, engage any effects, you know, switches, etc. Um, we can adjust the, the brightness of these LEDs with these pots. Um, and once I engage random mode, for my little tests, um, basically random mode will pretend like there's four parameters for me to control, right? Um, and so it's going to select four random um, inputs at a time within a, a, a sort of time tempo. And that tempo is actually gonna be random itself um, it's going to change every time I hit the random button. As you can see here, I have the serial monitor. This is telling me what button I'm hitting. Um, and so once I hit this random mode, they're going to start changing. Right? That's at a pretty, a pretty quick tempo. And basically, they're not going to be... The whole point is that the... Um, buttons that aren't selected are going to be, or the inputs that aren't selected are going to be unplayable, but the ones that are selected are, you, you can change parameters with those. So let me take off random mode. If you remember, um, it, it remembers basically what parameters you had set before you engage random mode. Um, I can do it again. Now, as you can see, it's a lot slower. So it randomizes the, the tempo, if you want to call it that, of when it's going to change. That's about it. Thank you.